What's up guys? It's another beautiful day in Southwest Florida. We're gonna take you for a mangrove tour through Jewfish Creek in Cape Coral. It's a hidden creek that not many people know about that you can navigate through, especially at high tide. So we were lucky enough to have high tide right now. So we're gonna head in that creek and film it for you. So the entrance to this creek is right near Tarpon Point Marina, near Glover Bight and the Western Hotel. Um, Rum Runner's restaurant is not too far. So uh, it's really easy to get to right off the Caloosahatchee River. The trick is coming in here at high tide, and trimming your drive up a little bit. At the entrance here, we got over four feet of water. And it's really hard to find the entrance. You really have to come in here to actually see it as it makes the bend around here and it opens up a little bit more. It's not uncommon to see dolphin in here and even manatee. You could follow the mangrove course on a chart. It does take some turns here and there, and there's more than one way through it. But um, I usually just stick to the widest and deepest areas. And here we are in a pontoon. We only draw about a foot and a half. We got the drive trimmed up a little bit. Matey loves it in here. Water is very still, not very clear in here, but you can almost see the bottom when you start getting a little shallow. We got about three feet right now. So a few months ago, uh, my brother and I came in here with the uh, kayak and we paddled through the entire thing and um, checked out the depths when we were in here that time and uh, figured it would be deep enough to bring the pontoon in, at least at high tide. At low tide, I don't think I would do it, but um, a shallow draft boat could get through here, no problem. This is one area you can get a little confused. It opens up again. It's a little lagoon area, and you could go two ways. You can either go to the left, it's a skinnier path over there, but we're going to head around this way, there's another mangrove tunnel just up here on the left. And this whole area here is pretty much like a little island of mangroves. It does get narrow over here, so you gotta take it nice and easy and watch any overhang catching on a bimini. We're still at like three feet of water right here. And just wide enough for the pontoon to make it through at eight and a half feet wide. Got another junction here. Again, this is a mangrove island. You could go around either side. We're actually over five feet deep now where it opens up here. Every once in a while, you'll hear a fish jump off to the side. I've seen some pretty big fish jumping in here. And uh, fishermen do come back here. It's a nice secluded area to drop a line. I don't know how many fish are back here, but um, I have seen a lot of crab pots. Every once in a while, you'll see the floats for the uh, fishermen, the crabbers dropping their pots. So you gotta watch out for them because uh, the water is so shallow here that you know the crab pot just, you, know, you can pretty much see it. It's sometimes visible at low tide. Watch out for them markers. And I guess fishermen or whoever came through in the past had marked the area with uh, PVC pipe, different areas. I guess to mark their way or mark a fishing spot. We have bait fish in here. Now here we're coming up on a crab pot now. see it there so you don't get much clearance if you go directly over that so you got to be careful of those Stay really haven't seen anything much less than three feet 
coming through here as long as you stay in the center. Another big junction here. Oh, just saw a fish jump over there by the crab pot. So you can go a couple different directions here. We're gonna hang to the left. That's the quickest way out. But you can see it opens up. Oh, lots of fish in here. Zip it around. Might go fishing right in here. Another crab pot, another path that way. This is another island. So when you're coming through here, you really wanna keep an eye on your shark so you get an idea where you're going. PVC pipes, probably marking the path for the fishermen to get in here without looking at a chart. I don't really see anything in them. Maybe sure likes our new see-through door up front. We knocked the uh, stainless covering or the aluminum covering off of that when we hit a wake we could just knock the whole thing out so I figured I'll leave it like that it's a nice window for Mady and I don't have to worry about it happening again it happens often with pontoons all right so here we are this is the exit coming out to the Clusahatchee River this portion here is probably the shallowest uh, where they're shoaling right at the entrance where it comes into this creek uh, the creek does go around up to the right that'll be a video for another day but um cutting through here you can see it getting a little shallow it's more brown where you can see the shallow portions but um i've been able to get through there okay and we are high tide I found is if you hug this left side here you'll see a piling there don't know why the piling is there it was probably a marker of some sort had some information on it but um it tends to be deeper on this side than it is over there to the right you can see it's a lot more brown over there compared to there so uh this is us coming out right to Clusahatchee River straight ahead is the Sanibel Causeway Bridge. We got about just over two and a half feet here. Let's see if it gets any shallower than that. So, um, and also that's the Miserable Mile straight out there. So this sort of bypasses the Miserable Mile if you just went straight out. There are some shallow points out here also. So we gotta be careful. So uh, yeah, continue to see two and a half feet on the depth finder. See the water clears up a little bit as you get closer to the river. And it gets deeper right at this point. We're over four or five feet now. So here's the entrance, looking at it from the river side. And you can get up that way. I've never been up there yet. One of these days we will go, but that's where we just came from. So we could continue around the mangrove and check out the other side. This is the river side heading back towards Tarpon Point. You can see some beachy areas here. And uh, something that just popped up that I didn't see last time I was out here. Looks like a large uh, motor yacht of some sort stuck over there in the mangroves. I wonder if it's from the last hurricane we just had, Hurricane Adalia. Maybe it blew off a mooring somewhere. Let me see how close we get to it. Check that out. There she is. Doesn't look to be in too bad shape appears to be floating still in about five feet of water right here well it appears to be tied off to a tree so maybe this is done on purpose I don't know maybe a three-hour tour So that's it. That's our quick run through Jewfish Creek in Southwest Cape Coral. Hope you enjoyed the ride with us. If you want to see more of it, uh, check out our video where my brother Brian and I went out and we went through there on the uh, kayak. We had an inflatable kayak we took out when we didn't know how deep it was. 
Uh, we found a lot of nice things going around this island. We found an abandoned uh, sailboat in there also. So uh, check that out if you're interested. I think we're going to uh, drop some lines in the water and do a little bit of fishing. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around with me and Mady. And we'll see you next time.